Nerds do more for women because they understand not being understood by women. What is this? Yeah, it's a, it's a mouthful. It is a lot, but let me unpack it to explain what I mean. Where the hell do y'all be finding these men that are obsessed with you? But fathers can take care of you, spoil you. They're nerds. They're nerds. You go for the nerd. Are you sure about that? It honestly blows my mind how we have this like entire trope in American literature and movies and TV shows about the nerdy girl who gets the glow up when she grows up and she was this unsuspecting girl next door, always knows in a book, loved fantasy series and movies girl who then becomes super hot and amazing. But we don't say that for men. Bruh. I know because it is a trope. A lot of it is fake. A lot of it is false. The amount of men that are nerds is unbelievable. We've been duped by sci-fi and sci-fi is our area. But for some reason, people think nerds are a small, a small, tiny group of men. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's your small bubble. Now look, the stereotype of a nerd is... He's weak. Look at all the stereotypes you have of nerds, and that's what people think a nerd is, every single stereotype. Either very skinny and scrawny, or very overweight and unkempt, glasses usually, bookworm, video game worm, tabletop, D&D, just <laughs> overly scientific, overly mathematic, computer literate, to a high level, programmer, whatever, a nerd. Perfect. A nerd. It's so baffling to me we live in a world that the only way we have new things is because of nerds. Every piece of tech. That's sexy. Everything in this world that's awesome, every new vehicle, all these cars, who's making them? Bad boy! Bad boy! The nerds. Yeah. The nerds. Now, when you hear some women talk saying they'd never date a nerd, it's like, what do you mean you'd never date a nerd? She's crazy. You mean the stereotype? Because you're not talking about general men. Hey, everybody. Today was my last day on Anola Homes. And for the entire day, I was thinking about not coming out and doing this run. It was a little dark and a little chilly, and I was convincing myself all day long that those were all good reasons not to run. Nerd! Because I'm confident enough to say most general men are nerds. Most of them. And I'm not talking super nerd. A super nerd is a high level nerd who's just fully high level. Not even I'm a fully high level nerd. I'm a nerd, but compared to some super nerds like damn bro, like I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that bro, it's like, all right, all right. But we live in this world where even women living in the same world will believe a man who's a nerd is not a masculine enough man. However, I came out here, I did it, I have loved it, and it feels really, really good. So if you're sitting at home thinking about not training today, throw those trainers on, get out there and do it. You won't regret it. I don't want to make this point right here. I don't call myself an alpha male. A lot of these dudes do. Because you're an alpha male, innit? You can handle me. Bullshit. Can't you? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah, sure. Modern nerds are in the gym. Modern nerds are working out hard. Modern nerds have adapted to modern times. Yes, there are a lot of still stereotypical nerds. But a lot of modern nerds are some serious dudes. You love to fight. Right? This is why I don't do the alpha male bullshit because it is bullshit. What are you calling an alpha male? Someone that doesn't play a video game. A growing industry, not a fading one, a growing one. Yeah, sure, bro. Yeah, you got it. Bitch. You've got it. Sure. So it is a lot of BS. And it is sad that when some women actually discover that, oh my God, these nerds are actually, they're actually decent men. Oh my God. Oh. These nerds are actually men. That is so disturbing. It's unbelievable. It's actually disgusting to a degree. Thankfully. That is only still a crop of women because more than enough women know, yeah, I like nerds, I do date nerds. My dad's a nerd, my brother's a nerd, my cousins are nerds. All nerds aren't great men. Nope. But a lot of nerds do understand women and how to care for a woman because they understand when no one understands them. To this day! I want you to hear me loud and clear when I say this, so listen up. If he owns a lightsaber, green flag. If he has purchased a wand from the wizarding world of Harry Potter, greenest possible flag. If he has an unhealthy obsession with Ahsoka Tano, you better run to the altar. Bonus yeah, Ahsoka would get it. Oh, trust me, I oh, should get it. Points if he's obsessed with Monopoly. Because those little underestimated nerd boys grow up to be men who see what's in here. Outstanding. And that's because they know what it's like for no one to see what's inside them. My god, it's full of stars. Yeah? This TikTok got a lot of views, a lot of comments, a lot of women agreeing. It even got comments from official Star Wars TikTok and official Lego TikTok. Damn! Damn, wow. There's a lot of women talking crap on the internet. Official Lego and Star Wars on in your comment section. I don't know, it seems like some people get it. And some never will. Vibes. No, oh, vibes. My cat thinks he's Ryan Gosling. Yeah, replicant vibes. Just those replicant vibes. Today. Hey. It's a cat of taste. 
sophisticated cat, cat of taste. Hey, it's good pussy. Let's normalize not saying that there aren't any good men out there. There aren't any good women out there. Because guess what? There are. Stop picking the wrong ones. You know, the more and more TikToks I do watch, it's amazing the amount of women who only ever date one sort of man. One sort of man. One in your entire life. One. I talk a lot of crap because I've dated a variety of women. The inexhaustible variety of life. I haven't stuck to one type of woman because I'm like, I want to experience women, not woman and this type of woman over and over again in a different skin, a different body. That is so lame. No, that's, that's quite sad. And this is why a lot of women think there aren't any good men out there. Not that nerds are good men. That's not even the point I'm making. But the amount of women who have never changed their type or dated a different type of man is unbelievable. I am the table. If variety is the spice of life, then how would you ever know men if you're only consuming salt and pepper? Ah. We're going after the same person in a different body. Like it's a different girl. It's a different guy, but it's the same type of person. You see those red flags? Pay attention to them. Don't just brush them off. And if I'm being 100% honest, it's not them. It's you. You're the one making the decision to keep talking to that person. So you have to take accountability. Okay, what is going on, you lot? It is day 56 of being single at age 40. Damn. So, following on from the other day, when I cut that guy off, the guy that I really liked, and I cut him off, um, just to let you all know, I have not heard from him. Was he a nerd? He probably wasn't, was he? He's probably a criminal. Oh. Yeah? You got a high brist of going on in your body? Turned on by a criminal? Please. Run for your lives, men. I'm joking, he's probably not a criminal. He's just probably a dickhead. Which makes me think that I probably won't hear from him, which is fine. But is it you, woman? Are you the dickhead? That's fucking ridiculous. I'm just saying. Um, but I have to tell you that I do feel so much better about things. Yes, yeah, so there's good. like a real sense of relief and calm now that that whole situation has gone. Um, and although, yeah, you know, I liked him, it's just like, it wasn't a relationship or anything. It was like someone that i was texting who i was like really fond of do you know what i mean you just like you make you were hanging on just keep me hanging on yeah but you stayed you stayed some nerdy men wouldn't do this i say some because there are players out there that are nerds there are players that are nerds you don't need me you hear me i'm sorry if you live in a world where you don't think that's a thing you're quite narrow-minded there are players that are nerds running through women like it's no one else's business my god so he probably was a bad guy or a player nerd and just kept you hanging on but my overall point is more than likely a nerd who's used to being treated like crap because of just who he is, they have more understanding for women's plight because they know what it's like to be misjudged and misunderstood. Never seen as even being human simply because of what they like, which is weird as fuck, but whatever. You feel like you've got a bond, don't you? But you actually haven't. I didn't even know his surname, so do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. But anyway, I hope you're all all right. Chin up, everyone. Ciao. Never as a man stop being who you are for a woman or women. If what you are isn't bad, uphold who you are. If she's not into this, that's not your type of woman. Abandon and flee. Have a nice day.